Hello and welcome back. This is your host, Blind Wombat, and I'm bringing you another clip. This time it's going to be a sniping video on Bakara. I'm going to be using the MSR, and I love this gun. Hands down, the, the finest sniper rifle. More damage than the L1198. And uh, that gun, the L1198, I feel like it's just a hit marker machine. I can't get one hit kills with it. But the MSR has got just like a fragile touch more damage. And that's just enough to put it over the top. So that's why I use the MSR. I always used to use the uh, AS50, but that gun, while being an absolute beast in its own right for damage, I think they nerfed it recently. I haven't used it since they nerfed it, or I think they nerfed it. But the the gun's sight line is just not long enough. It's it's not it's it doesn't have the range. And I know a lot of you are going to be thinking uh, you could always put variable scope on it. But instead of using variable scope, I like to have extended mags because, like I explained in some of my other videos, I'm uh, I'm always betting on me. So for longevity's sake, I am using more ammo. That's why I'm also not using heartbeat sensor. Also, the heartbeat sensor will be just flat out redundant with my portable radar. You'll see. You'll notice that I'm in this building right here. This is uh, one of my favorite spots to snipe. Uh, you get a lot of uh, range out of the windows. You get to cover a lot of the map. You cover the whole courtyard. You cover the helicopter, and you can cover the steps, which are pretty much the only entrance up. Sans the uh, the helicopter, you can actually climb up one of the rotor blades and jump into the window that I was just looking out of. And if anybody ever pulls that on you you should just stand up and clap because it's it's absolutely the most difficult thing to pull off. You have to run out in the middle of the map, you have to climb up a helicopter rotor, and then you have to jump in that window without anybody noticing or shooting you, all the while you're, you're having to watch your step. It's almost a preposterous feat. Right now I'm using a, a Storm <laughs> M4A1. I just uh, picked up a noob tube kill with it, and I like jumping to the ledge here because they're they're going to be anticipating at least the kids that I just killed. They're going to be anticipating I'm laying up at the top of the steps. You got to outthink them, so they know where to look now. But they're not going to be looking, say, directly above their own heads. This guy was ready to kill me at the top of the steps. He was not ready to get rained down on with an M4. So that worked out pretty well. I'm going to keep this building under lock and key as best I can. This gun's running out of ammo. I'm probably going to have to swap it back. But uh, I'm gonna keep this situation locked down up in this building because there's no there's no impetus for me to leave. I mean, why would I? I can still see red dots everywhere. I've got great vantage points from pretty much every window, and uh, nobody's even making an effort to root me out after those first initial kills on the steps. I know it can be really uh, frustrating to try and dig somebody out of positions like this, but it's an absolute must. And every time you see somebody up here doing what I'm doing, you absolutely have to weed them out because they're gonna get a ridiculous amount of kills on your teammates because the vantage points. It's just you gotta lock down key positions. Right there, picked up my uh, my pave low. This is already starting to be a good game. The uh, the guy I just tried to kill. Turned out not to have blind eye. He just uh, had recently spawned, so he hadn't gotten his red uh, reticle yet. These reapers are especially effective on this map and falling, and uh, I'm really proud of what I'm doing with it. it looks like I'm getting about I don't know. I weave that one in there pretty tight. I, I guess around like seven, eight kills. I, I didn't actually count them, but. Uh, I think I died somewhere during the process of that. Yeah, I'm not sure entirely how I died, but laying down on the floor doesn't take a lot of imagination to just visualize somebody coming in there to avoid the Reaper and finding my prone body, laughing, dancing up and down, maybe teabagging me a bit before he uh, rained down on me. So, when uh, point A fails, I'm going to move to point B. This building right here, second best sniping spot on the map. Actually, depending on your spawn, it might be the first best. Now, uh, Right there, the positioning, Claymore and uh, my portable radar. That portable radar will give me the best uh, best amount of vision. It'll cover the alley to my left. It'll cover all the plants to my right. And uh, you don't want to snipe. A lot of people, I see them all the time, doing what this guy's doing right there. He's laying down and sniping from the ground. That is just not a good position to be in. It limits your visibility because you're not going to be able to move around as fast because you're, you're lying prone. Also, it increases your visibility to your enemies. You're going to be able to get sniped from that position pretty much everywhere on the map. And that harkens back to what I was saying back in my other sniping game about sight lines. If, they, if you can't see them in a doorway like this, they can't see you. And that's the beauty of being in a room like this. 
That's there's actually a, a tertiary reason that I like staying in this room. If they toss a grenade up into this room, and people do that all the time, they'll toss uh, C4 grenades, and it's the easiest thing in the world to clear people out of that room. They toss it up, they miss, they hit the door jam. That grenade lands right on your head if you're lying there, and you get cooked. Now, if you're up here in the door like I am, you can tuck up right where my portable radar is, and it is very difficult to hit a grenade on somebody who's tucked up against that door jam. Mostly because you have to either throw it really far into the doorway to bounce off the wall and come back to kill me, or you have to shoot it really short and have it just dink in. And either way, you know, it's kind of luck of the draw. You can't really pick. I hate that right there. When they get off the uh, the machine gun, they actually teleport a little bit backwards and you avoided my reaper shot. I don't know if that was intuition or that guy's just good. I, you gotta give him props. He escaped it. So that guy took a hit marker when he shouldn't have. He should have died, but you know, I'm not I'm not doing the best job with these reapers. Usually my uh, my reapers are pretty surgical. I prefer reapers as a kill streak for sniping, because you don't want to go on a on a low kill streak for sniping or a uh, an intensive kill streak like a a care package. You don't want to draw attention to yourself, and a UAV isn't very helpful because you're not really going to go out and pick up the people who. Uh, who you're getting the sight line or getting the uh, UAV up on? So why even bother? You're gonna. I'm gonna skip UAV, skip care package. I'm gonna go straight to Predator. And Predator. I used to go Predator helicopter Reaper, but the thing is, the helicopter always got in the way of my Reaper, and it never picked up too many kills. And the Reaper just got a ridiculous amount of kills. So I just started using Reaper Pavlo, and Reaper Pavlo has been suiting me really well. The uh, the key to using the MSR real well in a sniping capacity, or obviously, but a hard sniping p capacity like this, not quick scoping, is uh, just continuously uh, keeping aim down sights in places you know enemies to be. I just saw this guy get cooked, and I know there's an enemy there. I just saw a shadow, so I know there's a second enemy coming directly towards me. But I, I don't know where he's located. It looks like he wrapped around. He's coming up into the building. I have a claymore protecting me. So I didn't need to run up. I know a lot of you are thinking, well, you have a claymore. That's what the claymore's for. Just back up. Let the claymore take care of him. Nope, 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 nope. That's not the kind of thing you can afford if you're going to stay alive. you got to go to the top of the steps and you got to kill him before he tosses that grenade up. And we saw him cooking it right before I killed him. That guy would have taken out my grenade, possibly even me with that right before he came up the steps himself and gave me a hard time. So, right now, we're winning 6,000. Uh, the possibility of losing is kind of out the window at this point. And I just, that was an extraordinary run of whiffs right there, and I'm a little embarrassed by it, but you know what? I had a, a good sniping game otherwise. My accuracy has been pretty solid. And uh, I, I never understood people shooting off that turret. It's really easy place for me to pick off. I intentionally, I deliberately did not uh, hit the guy on the turret with my sniper because it's too easy to pick him off. Why would I bother wasting a predator killing him when he could die right before my predator hits? I could just shoot him as soon as the predator is over. And uh, that's going to be it for this game, but there are plenty more like it. And looks like my final statistics ended up being 47, 2, and 1. And that's a game with my MSR. Thanks a lot. Stay tuned and please thumbs up.